If you have ever dreamt of writing Android application or building an Android application, this video is for you. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about React Native. So it's not going to be a much thing, but it's going to be a fundamental basic knowledge of React Native, how to set up React Native, and also how to run React Native for your emulator or for your mobile devices. So let's get uh, moving. So you can see right now we have the latest uh, stable version of React Native, that is 0.63. That is the latest release of uh, React Native. So you can see here we, we have our lane ones right anywhere. So you can see they have a lot of uh, things they wrote down on the official website. So this one says React Native combined the best part of native development with React, a best in class, JavaScript library for building user interfaces. Use a little or a lot. You can use React Native today in your existing Android and iOS projects, or you can create a whole new app from scratch. And I'm just going to show you how to set up a new app from scratch so that whenever you want to create a whole new app from scratch, you can then use these steps and also get something good for you to work with. So it's totally written in JavaScript, but everything there is a kind of JXS. So if you are familiar with normal React, React.js, you wouldn't bother much about React Native because they have similarities. Just that this one has some uh, native modules, while the other one has some web modules. So React Native primitives render to native uh, platform UI, meaning your app uses the same native platform APIs other apps do. So when you get to start writing this application, you will understand more of this. So many platform, one React creates platform specific version of components. So, so a single code base can share code across platform. Where React Native, one team can maintain two platform and share a common technology. Let's say, for example, you are writing an Android uh, uh, project or an iOS project, you can see you can use React Native and still have the solution for double platform uh, devices. So this is just a simple, uh, a simple code of how React Native looks like whenever you install React Native. So let's just uh, go ahead and quickly do that. So I'm just going to open my commander. So I'm just going to go back. So right now I'm in my folder. I want to create my React Native application. It is always recommended not to install React Native globally. Don't install React Native globally because if you do that, sometimes there is always a clash and you cannot uh, be able to get a stable version for you to work with. So just make sure you download Node.js. After downloading Node.js, all you just have to do is to type down npx react native you can initialize a new project so i can in uh, init just a react native project so this is the simple command i just have to run it says in, it's not a valid name because i'm using i think i'm using a spaces maybe react native. this doesn't accept it okay the name is still invalid so it's good that it's giving us this warning, but I'm just going to say React Native. So it doesn't want the name separated with my hyphen. So this is uh, the best part of it, the best uh, way we can just initialize a new project. So let's just allow this to initialize. Then we can come back and just show you a little things that we can do with React Native. Then on my uh, next video, I'm going to be releasing some animation videos, although I have some cool animation videos, but I'm just going to show you some more advanced animation videos that you can really learn with React Native. And also I'm going to show you how to build many things with React Native. So let's just allow this to finish, then we can uh, continue. So right now our application is done. It's done uh, creating the project for us and also it's going to make use of the project uh, name that we use to also create the folder. So you can see it's just going to tell you to switch to the folder of the uh, project and also once you switch it, you can now quickly run the application. So let's just go ahead and do what uh, the 
steps here says i'm just going to switch to react native and the next step is npx react native run android so i'm just going to run that and it's going to run that on my already running emulator so make sure you have a emulator that you installed from your android studio so make sure you do that i have a video on how to set up uh android studio for your projects so that you can easily and quickly run android application on your emulator without uh, without disturbing your mobile device or using it on your phone so let's just allow this to finish then we can continue so uh that's mo that's why most times i prefer expo but uh, for you to fix any issue that you see something like groovy or you are having an issue running a react native application at the first at the first time of running an application the solution is very simple it's just for you to change your gradle version so make sure you close your metro bundler then come over to google search for gradle distribution url i'm just going to search for that and you can see the gradle wrapper user manual url i'm just going to go over to that url and i'm going to grab the latest distribution url i'm going to minimize my browser and open the project folder so once that open come over to the android folder go over to the gradle now expand this you have to see gradle wrapper properties click on that now you can see the distribution url so all you just have to do is to delete the existing one and replace that save that then close it come over to your commander as well and just uh, you can actually uh, use your android so it's still going to run the same thing that we did here but you have to make sure you have your own downloaded so let's just allow that to finish as well so whenever we have our application installed uh, we are definitely going to see that here everything is completed and is going to load the main activity context while in our emulator we are going to see welcome to react so this is just a very simple boilerplate of react native i'm going to go over to the project folder and i'm going to go over to app.js so you can see right here everything that uh, we can see on the screen comes from here so you can quickly uh change that i'm just going to uh make a little design and show you how we can uh, quickly change that just going to delete all these uh, i'm just going to leave the view the text and the style sheets so every other thing i'm just going to delete that so you can as well leave this but uh, let me just get rid of this so it doesn't mean anything much so sometimes i prefer to work with typescript but let's just keep it simple for now and i'm going to clear every other thing that you see here so inside here you can just put a single view and put a single text and you can say hello world so let's format that uh it's not really friendly i don't know why but let me just get rid of that and we can see if, uh we are having an issue well actually i don't know why it's showing me on the, uh, this red sprinkler line but you can see on our emulator the android application is still working perfectly okay it has left so let's just go ahead and create a simple style so i'm just going to create a container with a flex of one we have to align all the items to the center and we can justify the content as well to the center i'm just going to show you a simple thing that we can just do so we can reference to the styles dot container so when i did that you can see it brought the text to the center and that's how we can set up a single uh, simple react native application let's just uh, do one more thing let's say whenever i press this text 
I want to show an alert. So I can just say hello world. Save that. And whenever this is done refreshing, click on that text and you can see that hello world. So you can see we are making use of the normal JavaScript alert, but it gets to run the native code and still show us an alert uh, on our screen. So that's how we can set up a simple React Native application. So if you really enjoyed the video, please do make sure you hit the like button and also the subscribe button. See you on my next video.